Artisan cheesemakers say sales of gourmet cheese are defying cost of living pressures because more people are enjoying small indulgences at home rather than dining out. Highlights rising cost of living has led some consumers to buy cheaper non-branded cheese rising cost of living causes some consumers to buy non-branded cheese for less gourmet cheese sales remain strong gourmet cheese sales stay strong industry experts say more people are having fun at home Beth O'Leary owner of Mumbai Cheese said demand for black or gold washed rind which was recognized as the country's best cheese at the 2023 Australian Major Dairy Awards is strong you probably pay a little more, but this an artisanal handmade cheese. The only machine we have in that factory is a dishwasher, everything else made by hand, said Ms. O'Leary. Decadent European style handmade soft cheese takes 12 days to mature. Mumbai cheese's black or gold is best served at room temperature. Eating quality cheese is about experience, said Ms. O'Leary. I think people like to treat themselves to something, and it's actually a cheap night. Sitting on the deck with your neighbors, drinking a nice bottle of wine, eating some cheese, said Mrs. O'Leary. Beth O'Leary did a cheesemaking course with Wombai Cheese and later bought the business. Ms. O'Leary, a cheese fanatic who visited 30 artisans in Australia before purchasing Wombai Cheese last year, advised keep it simple. Some fresh bread, a few fresh tomatoes, drizzle some honey on top. That's absolutely amazing, you can really taste and understand the slow process of making cheese. Handmade Wombai cheese is matured in a special chilled room. Cheese Trends Rabobank senior dairy analyst Michael Harvey said some people have switched to buying cheaper, unbranded table cheese in response to cost of living pressures. But one of the other things that happens in this environment is that consumers want some tolerance, Harvey said. They still want to entertain, so they have fun at home, and having a little indulgence at home can help sell things like specialty cheese and ice cream. Special cheese is still in demand by consumers. Cheese history The earliest archaeological evidence of cheese was found in an Egyptian tomb dating back to 3200 BC. No one knows who first made cheese, but one legend suggests that the cheese was linked to an Arab merchant who, while traveling through desert, kept his milk in a pouch made from sheep's stomach. The International Dairy Foods Association speculated that rennet in lining of pouch combined with heat of sun, causing milk to break down into delicious curd and thirst-quenching whey. Modern Roll Sam Penny's online business, Cheese Therapy, has kept many small-scale cheesemakers afloat during wildfires and epidemics by selling recovery boxes of their cheese. Sam Penny created the Maxdom cheese line to support Australia's dairy industry. The extreme athlete trying to swim across the English Channel in wind.